Okay, and there are a few other fun things that we can do if we want to further customize our, our graphics here. Um, in some cases, you might want, um, maybe for the purposes of a report, maybe to separate these different groups out. You want to actually introduce some faceting. You can do that with an additional argument here. Um, I'll actually create a new section called faceting and copy the code block from above. So if you add to the end of this a new line, we're going to use the facet wrap function here, followed by a tilde. This is uh, the key should be right under your escape key on kind of the top left. Okay. We want to say we want to facet it at the level of the village. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of separate these three villages into their own kind of standalone uh, boxes. You can see this is a bit awkward because um, it's still saving all the space. It's using the same kind of x axis, right? The same values there. And so the God and Ruaka villages, you know, the villages that are not represented are still present. Um, there are ways to remove that as well. Uh, the way to do that in this in this example um, would just be to substitute the village variable for respondent wall type and then change fill with village. Okay, so now what we've done is we've uh, regrouped this. Uh, we're using village now as the color coding. The ggplot package also contains a lot of uh, pre-configured themes that others have created. Um, so these are just collections of different aesthetic properties that others have, have um, designed and then stored together um, and then uploaded to, to the community for others to use. Um, and the way that we introduce those is just with, uh, in this case, theme underscore and then the name of that theme. The one common one is BW, which is the black and white theme. And you can watch here in the plots window um, how the appearance of our graphic changes as we run this. Okay. So it's not anything profound. We've already um, set some of the colors here, uh, up here in our ggplot uh, function. So those are going to be preserved, but some of the properties of that kind of the background, the, the vessel that I described earlier, um, some of those have changed to, to match the, the settings of this black and white theme. And you can see some other themes that are available. We have classic, dark, uh, you know, a lot of different options here to play with. Um, so feel free to play around with those and, and find something that you like and kind of see how these uh, different things work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop here. Um, there is additional material contained in pages 33 on to the end, um, including some examples about how to facet using additional variables. Um, we're not going to cover that in this workshop because a lot of that material was not covered uh, in introduction to R. Um, however, we do encourage you guys to continue to experiment with it, try it on your own. Um, and if you have any questions or run into any kind of snags, um, please feel free to reach out to any of our librarians. Um, they're on hand, happy to help anytime you guys need it. Um, but uh, we want to thank you again for attending these workshop series and for kind of sticking with it. Um, we hope that this is enough to get you started. But again, this is just the beginning of the journey. Um, please do uh, continue to experiment and reach out to us if you need any help. Um, so thank you again for attending uh, and we'll see you soon.